Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I have not posted in a really long time, but um, today we are going to do skincare, we're gonna do teeth whitening, and we are going to do um, a hair mask. So, I'm just gonna take my hair out of this towel right quick. If you are new here, welcome, you've arrived. Um, Feel free to watch the video and see if it's something that you enjoy or something that you like. And if you like it and you feel like you wanna see more videos like it, then feel free to subscribe. And if you don't, you don't. Okay, so um, I'm just running a brush through my hair. I just got out of the shower and uh, as you guys can see, my hair is really thick, it's really long, and usually I like to do a hair mask um, like once a week just to add some extra moisture into my hair and kind of get it, get it feeling nice. So um, as you guys can see, we are at my desk. So I have a bowl here with water. Obviously, normally I would do my skincare routine and everything in my bathroom at the sink, but um, the lighting and stuff in my bathroom is not so good. So we're gonna make do with what we have, but just so everyone knows, I normally do not sit at my desk and do skincare. I normally do it in my bathroom. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Care Therapy um, uh, the hair mask. There we go. <laughs> I was having a hard time there for a second. Holy. Um, so this hair mask, they actually don't ship to Canada on the care therapy website, but you can order it on Amazon. It's about $25 on Amazon. Um, this is one of the best hair masks I've ever used. This is my second bottle. It literally smells so good. Like the smell alone will sell you on it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just like a white, creamy, it looks like conditioner. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna start at, on the ends of my hair. And I'm just gonna kind of run my fingers through. And that's why it's super important for you to um, brush your hair before you do this. So you can just easily run your fingers through. Sometimes I leave this hair mask on for like 12 hours or I'll leave it on overnight or whatever and sometimes I leave it on for like five or 10 minutes and then just um, wash it out. Um, it's all about your personal preference and how much time you have. So like for the purposes of the video, I wanna show you guys like my full hair routine. Um, obviously not styling, but I want you guys to see like what products I use on my hair before I style it. So for the purposes of this video, I am going to actually wash it out um, at the end of this video, like after all my skincare and stuff. So I'm gonna leave it on for long enough to do my skincare and then I'm gonna wash it off. But normally on a day like today where I'm just gonna be like cleaning and hanging out with Killian and just like not really doing anything. On a normal day like today, I would just leave it in all day, wash it out around dinner time and go on with my other, my aftercare products. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you all of my kind of aftercare products right right after, right at the end of my skincare. So I want you guys to kind of see like what 
I do. Lots of people ask me like, how do, how do you keep your hair looking so nice? Your hair is beautiful. What's your hair care routine? So I am going to show you guys exactly how I do it. Um, minus the styling portion. So I'm just using a brush to run this through my hair and make sure it gets nice and evenly coated. And I think that's good for now. Okay. Sorry you guys, you know, spirits. I just heard something move out there. Okay, so um, I am going to start with my skincare. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a damp face cloth and I'm just gonna wet it. And I'm just gonna get my face damp And then I'm going to go in with this Saturday Skin um, Facial Cleanser. This is one of my favorite cleansers. Like, it's so, so good. And I'm going to use my Lumi Spa uh, Facial Cleansing Device. This is literally the best device that I have ever used. It's one of my go-to beauty products. And I just put my cleanser right on top. I'm just gonna rub it on my face. And I'm gonna click the button. And you guys will be able to see how good the Lumi works. So the reason why I chose this cleanser is because this cleanser specifically is very, it lathers really well and I wanted you guys to see the actual movement of the Lumi and how much scrubbing it really does in each pass. Uh, the Lumi comes with its own facial cleanser. Um, it's called Age Lock, but because um, for the purposes of this video, I wanted to use a cleanser that would actually show the movement and how much scrubbing it actually does to your skin. It's very gentle. Um, you can barely feel it moving on your skin. It removes makeup like a dream. And you guys hear how it's like skipping through. See how it has these lights on it? Each light is for uh, a different section of your face. So each one will light up and it splits your face into four quadrants and you wash a quarter of your face each time it's, it gives you the signal. So we're just gonna quickly finish up here. Don't worry guys, we're on the last one. And I usually use my Lumi twice a day. I've only had to charge it once uh, every month so far since I've had it. And I use it twice a day and I usually just charge it like once every month. I don't even keep my charger out on the counter or anything because that's how, that's how little it needs to be charged. So, and uh, the other thing with the Lumi is if you um, if you use it and you start scrubbing on your own, the Lumi will actually stop so that you get um, a really good wash because um, it's not meant for you to scrub, it's meant to do all the work for you. So if you actually start scrubbing your face with it, the Lumi will actually turn off. Okay, so let's wash all this soap off.
And sometimes I also will use the Lumi with my, um, my makeup removers as well. Okay, I am going to go in with the Saturday Skin Toner as well. This is a glycolic acid, uh, like, let me see, I think this one is, yeah, glycolic acid and pore control. So this is what it looks like. Cute, 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 um, little bottle. Let me grab some. Let me just grab some cleansing pads. Okay, so we're gonna do the toner. The toner, this toner I will tell you is an exfoliating toner. So it's really, um, it sometimes stings your skin. So if you're someone with sensitive skin, this one maybe isn't so much for you. Um, but yeah, I really love this toner. I love all the Saturday Skin products actually that I've tried so far. I haven't tried one that I didn't like so far. So usually I always do a toner after I do my cleanser, just in case like there was some leftover makeup or residue on my skin or anything like that. And I really like this one because it lifts away any dead skin that might be left over. Keep in mind, you guys, this is just my morning routine. This is not my routine that I would use in the evening. Okay. So now that we have a toner on, the next thing I'm gonna go in with is I am going to do this Georgia Clinger Vitamin C face mask. So this is a mud mask. And honestly, this is one of the best mud masks I have ever used. Like I'll probably buy it again, it's so good. So, so you guys can see, it's so like smooth and creamy, look. It's just like the most creamy mask. It's so thin. Normally I am not a person who absolutely loves mud masks, but this one is so thin. And what it really does is it lifts off any like dead or dry skin. And it also, um, soaks up any extra oils or moisture in the skin that you don't want there. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. While we're doing that, I am going to show you guys what I normally do to whiten my teeth. So because I'm going to spit in this bowl after, I'm gonna wet my rag now to wash off my mat so that I don't have to go to the washroom to take off this mask. I'm just gonna wet my rag now so I don't have to worry about taking off the mask. Okay. So, I'll show you guys. These are my favorite toothbrushes. You can get them on Amazon. They're bamboo toothbrushes. Me and my family all have them. Um, they are biodegradable. They're about, I think they're about $12 maybe on Amazon. And the toothpaste that I like to use is the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint. And uh, so I will use this.
Okay, so normally I would brush my teeth for about two minutes. I'm not gonna make you guys sit here that long, but normally I would brush my teeth for about two minutes and then I would rinse off my toothbrush, go in with the Crest 3D white toothpaste again. Um, so just take it, put it on my toothbrush like so. And I wouldn't actually fully brush my teeth with it. I'll just brush it onto my teeth and kind of leave it on there. Usually I do this while I'm in the shower and I kind of wash my body and do a few things while I have it in my mouth. And I just kind of let it sit on my teeth. So I'll just put it on my teeth like this and just leave it and let it sit on my teeth and I'll do a few things and then spit that out and then last but not least I go in with the Crest Glamorous White um, mouthwash and give that a good swish I guess I probably shouldn't drink it out of the bottle And that is how I get my teeth so white. So if you guys are wondering what my whitening routine is, it's all Crest 3D white. Sorry, you guys. It's all Crest 3D white. Um, and that is my teeth whitening routine. It's super easy. Um, it, I don't have to go to the dentist and get my teeth whitened. I have done it like this for years now. And you know what? Um, the other thing is, is I have tried a lot of teeth whitening products and uh, a lot of them didn't work for me. I've tried those little trays where you put the gel in it and uh, with the light and they didn't work for me. And I found that they were super hard to use because you had to keep this thing in your mouth for so long and you're creating saliva and you can't spit it out or you spit out all the product. And like, I just found that it was very uncomfortable and it was, it was not effective. It was very ineffective for the amount of discomfort. So... Yeah, this is the way that I do it. My teeth are always very, very white. I have no issues um, keeping my teeth whitened. I get tons of compliments on how white my teeth are. So that's my secret, guys. Okay. So I'm just gonna move this bowl out of the way because it's gross. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do for my skincare is I'm going to go in with my serums and eye creams. Um, the first thing that I'm going to lay down is I'm going to do this Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. And um, if you're new to lactic acid, I would say maybe only do it every other day. But if you're an experienced lac lactic acid user then go ahead and use it as much as you'd like this is actually um an acid that sweeps away dead skin so it's also exfoliating um i do do like a exfoliating scrub probably two or three times a week i usually do it with my nighttime routine and when i do use a scrub i usually don't use um like an acid type exfoliant just because it's too much like that's too much on your skin your skin needs to be able to repair itself it's not um, healthy for your skin to just constantly be scrubbing it and putting chemicals on it to release the cells so 
I don't do both together. I either do a scrub or I do a chemical exfoliant. I never, I, I can't think of like a lot of times where I've used both of them together. The only time maybe is when I'm gonna use a tanner and I really, really want my skin to be um, exfoliated really well because it helps your tanner to last longer. Okay, so that one, the one that we just used was called The Good Jeans. It's by Sunday Riley and it goes for about, I think it goes for about $85 a bottle. It's very expensive, but it is a very amazing product and sometimes you can get it on BoxyCharm for cheap, cheap, cheap. The next one we're gonna go in with is a Vitamin C Brightening Booster Serum. So this is by uh, the uh, Clean Skin Club. I really love Clean Skin Club products as well. Um, I have like a good amount of their products. I have not met one that I didn't like. So keep that in mind. And this is just a brightening serum, so it's gonna brighten any dark spots on the skin. It's gonna even out your skin tone and just give you that like inner glow, make you feel it's very refreshing. It has watermelon, uh, green tea, and pineapple. And uh, it smells really good. It's just a very refreshing serum. I'm gonna take that down onto my neck. And I will say this, guys. Remember, skincare does not end with the face. Um, it's very important to exfoliate your body with um, like a scrub or an exfoliating sponge. And it's also very important to moisturize your body to make sure that your skin is not aging faster than it needs to. So um, sunscreen, all of those things, very, very important. Um, I don't think that they get talked about enough, but even someone with my skin tone, my complexion, you need to wear sunscreen because the sun is very damaging to our skin and it can obviously cause health issues and it can cause us to age faster. So the next thing that I'm going to use is this triple peptide eye cream by Dr. Brandt. It's called Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt. So I'm guessing that this is that's what the line is. This is actually the first time that I've used this specific eye cream, but uh, I have used other Dr. Brandt eye creams and um, I like them so much that I used the whole bottle on the other ones, so I'm not complaining. So I'm just going to rub this right around the eyes and the best uh, way to rub in your eye creams around your eyes is to use your ring finger because it give, it puts a, lo a lot less pressure and uh, it causes you to pull your skin less and when you pull your skin sometimes it makes you, it causes you to have more wrinkles actually. It stretches out the skin and causes your skin to get more wrinkly and also be damaging for your eye socket. So make sure that you guys are using your ring finger because it's going to use a lot less pressure when you apply eye creams. Okay, and last but not least for the skincare, this is my favorite moisturizer these days because it is oil free. And I find that if I have too much oil in my in my moisturizer or if it's too greasy. Um, not only does it make my makeup really shiny, but like it comes through through my makeup and my skin sometimes produces too much oil and by the end of the day, my makeup looks really weird. But uh, this is an oil-free moisturizer, so this is definitely the one that I've been using more often. And it's called Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa and Papaya. And it's by Pharmacy. So this is the cute little box that it comes in. Um, they always have like the cutest packaging and they all of the pharmacy products are really good so the concept of pharmacy is that everything is kind of um, farm raised and then scientists engineered um, so their products are 
very natural. They don't have any, um, they don't usually have any added color or scents in them. And they're just very, very nice products. This, this uh, moisturizer is so light and airy. Like, it's just amazing. It's like not at all heavy. It's so weird. It's like, I don't know. It's like putting like, it's like putting like a light jelly on your skin. Okay. So, um, that is it for skincare. The last thing that I am going to do is, oh, here's my favorite lip balm that Killian destroyed. Um, but the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. And I'm just gonna moisturize my lips right quick. So this is a CBD, um, or sorry, not CBD. This is a hemp oil infused lip balm. It's lightly tinted and uh, it's very nice for, very nice for putting on underneath your lipsticks or your liquid lips, especially if they're matte and just really good for all over everyday use for um for um moisture just keeping your lips nice and moisturized okay we we are going to take a quick break i'm going to wash out my hair mask and i'm going to come back and show you guys the end of my hair routine and then that's going to be it so i will be right back Okay, you guys, so the hair mask is washed out and I am just going to give my hair a quick dry. Okay, so now that I've given my hair a quick dry, um, I'm just going to go in with two more products, give it a quick brush, just to make sure there's no tangles. And now I am going to go in with, so this is actually my heat spray. Ooh, get closer. So this is actually my heat spray. It's called Good Behavior by IGK. It's a spirulina protein and smoothing spray. And this is, so this is what you would normally spray on your hair for a heat protectant. I spray mine on lately I've been doing this obviously you guys have seen me do like lives and stuff where I'm spraying it on during but uh, lately because it's been helping me kind of conserve product and it helps me get it through my hair a lot easier I've been spraying it on right after I wash my hair while my hair is still wet and then I don't have to worry about doing it by section later and I don't have to worry about it. Um, I don't have to worry about it later on when I go to style. I can just style my hair and it's easy and it's no problem. So this one is by IGK. You can use any heat spray that you'd like. Um, I find that this is one of the only ones that I've ever used that doesn't make my hair frizzy because when I use like I'm going to stand up for a sec. 
when I use like styling oils and things like that, I find that it makes my hair really frizzy. Okay, so now that that is in, um, I'm also, I normally on a day like today, I wouldn't use this, but I want to show you guys my whole routine if I were to do it like, like I just really wanted to show you guys all the hair products that I would normally use if I was doing a full routine. Like say I had to go out today and I really needed to get it done quickly. This, these are all the products that I would use, but um, I, if I did not need, if I had time and time was on my side, like I do today, and I was just like putting around the house cleaning up, I would let my hair air dry. But because I want to show you guys for the purposes of this video, um, I am going to use this product as well. It's called No More Blow and it's a high speed air drying spray. So this is also by IGK. And this is called, or sorry, um, it dries your hair up to 46% faster. So all you do is you spray it on your hair. It doesn't, I don't know, it kind of, honestly, it kind of smells like spray on deodorant. That's honestly what it smells like. Um, but I find that it does dry my hair really, really, really quickly. So um, I don't use it all the time. I actually don't even use it that often because I usually just let my hair air dry. Um, but if I'm in a hurry and I really want it to dry quickly, then I will use it. So that is my skincare routine, my teeth whitening routine, and my hair care routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys got some insight and some tips and tricks from this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure you give us a thumbs up so uh, we know that you enjoyed the content. And I hope that you guys come back here and see me next time. Um, if you guys like this video or if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section. I hope you guys all go out and be a blessing to somebody else today and build somebody else up. Make them feel good about themselves. <laughs>